Let's convert from molecules of CO2 to moles. So this is carbon dioxide gas. We want to get our molecules to moles. We have 12.31 times 10 to the 15th molecules. This is just a number that we made up for the problem. So a good way to think about this, a good way to remember how to convert molecules to moles is with this mnemonic here. If we're going from moles to molecules, we start with moles, we multiply by Avogadro's number here. In this case, though, what we're doing is we're going from molecules of CO2 to moles. Molecules to moles, you just do the opposite. We're going to divide by Avogadro's number here. And we should note that that units, the units we have here, are particles per mole. Particles mean things like molecules or atoms. So we're going to take 12.31 times 10 to the 15 molecules and divide that here by Avogadro's number because we're going from molecules to moles. Let's do that. So we have our number from the problem here. We have Avogadro's number. And you can see we have molecules on top and the bottom. So they cancel out. We're left with moles. And that makes sense. We're looking to find moles in this problem here. So 12.31 divided by 6.02. That gives me 2.04. And with the units here, we're going to subtract. So 15 minus 23, that gives us a negative 8. So we have 10 to the negative 8. And that's going to be moles. Write it in there. That's it, really. That's how you convert from molecules of CO2 to moles. Because we're going from molecules to moles, we divide by Avogadro's number. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.